This is Mr. Barr, and I'm doing some IXLs. I'm solving some two-step equations. The ever-popular two-step equation. So let's write it down. You've got to do this with a pen and paper or a dry erase marker and board. So 10 equals 2z plus 2. Who is the variable? Z, who's bugging the variable? 2 and 2. What's this two trying to do? It's trying to multiply. That one is trying to add. Which one should I deal with first? I'm going to deal with this one. Remember in class, I told you to sneak up on the variable. Probably did a little skit with a backpack. So I'm going to subtract two from both sides. And that's going to give me eight equals two times z. And now I'm going to divide both sides by two. That's going to give me a four. So z equals four. What does it mean to be a solution? It means that if you plug it in, it will work. So let's plug it in. 2 times z, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10, it equals 10. It worked. The answer is 4. Well done. 5 equals 2v minus 3. I would like to add 3 to both sides. That's going to give me 8 equals 2v. I would like to divide both sides by 2, so v equals 4. four plus two k equals ten. Sneak up on the variable. Don't go right for the two, go for the four. I would like to subtract four from both sides. Two k equals six. I would like to divide both sides by two. K equals three. Three w plus one equals ten. I would like to subtract one from both sides. Three w equals nine. I would like to divide both sides by 3. W equals 3. 2 plus 2B equals 10. I would like to subtract 2 from both sides. So 2B equals 8. I would like to divide both sides by 2. So B equals 4. 16 equals 4w plus 8. I would like to subtract 8 from both sides. I would like to divide both sides by 4. 4. That's right. All right, good. I like this one. p over 4 plus negative 10 equals negative 8. I would like to add 10 to both sides. So now I have p over 4 equals 2. Now I'd like to multiply both sides by 4. p equals 8. Let's see, what does it mean to be a solution? If I plug it in, it will work. Let's plug it in. 8 divided by 4 is 2, minus 10 is negative 8. It worked. 8 type of problem, k over 4 minus 18 equals negative 14. I'm going to add 18 to both sides. So k over 4 equals 4. Same sign, add and keep. Different signs subtract. Keep the sign of the higher number. Keep the sign of the higher number. Okay. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. So k equals 16. w over negative 3 plus negative 6 equals negative 10, adding 6 to both sides. w over negative 3 equals negative 4, multiplying both sides by negative 3. w equals positive 12. Why is it positive? Negative times a negative is a positive 12. q over 4 minus 3 equals 1, adding 3 to both sides. Q over 4 equals 4. Hitting both sides with a 4 takes me to a 16. That's good. I'm going to do this one a little bit quicker. It's negative 4, negative 2. I'm just basically right now I'm looking for something to happen up in the higher numbers. It's going to be a negative 4, negative 2, it's a positive 2. 7 times 8. Uh, 56 minus 14, 56, 46, 42. Now I'm, ah, 42 plus 14 
is 56 divided by 7 is 8. Good. Okay, what is that? That is 42... 42 takes me to 32 takes me to 27 27 is that right 27 plus 15 is 42 yes anything happening up here nothing's happening 79 minus 4 is going to take me to a 75 divided by 5 is a 15 hmm I did not expect this one to come up. Okay, let's do it though. Uh, some distribution here. So 54 equals negative 6 times y plus negative 6. Okay, so I'm going to distribute this. So I have 54 equals negative 6y plus 36, subtracting 36 from both sides. Dividing both sides by negative 6. That's going to take me to a negative 3. Did not see that one coming. Okay, so now you got some distribution coming up. We're going to do a full lesson on distribution and these multi-step equations. Hey, that's... Oh, is that what they're having you do? Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Do I want to tell you? Here's another way to do it. This is why it's under two-step equations. I'm, I'm not going to teach this method in class. I'm going to teach that you do the distribution and then simplify it. But you could do it like this. J plus 86. Here's why it's under two steps. Although I'm not going to teach it. I can divide both sides by 2 right here. That gives me J plus 86 equals negative 10. And then subtracting 86, subtracting 86. That takes me to negative 96. That's why it's under two step equations. So right here, this would be 50 divided by 2, which is 25, plus 25 is 50. This would be 90 divided by 10, which is 9, minus 6 is 3. I'm in the challenge zone. Is it going to go decimal on me? 600 divided by 2 is 300, plus 382 is 682. You see the boom boom there? 15n plus 25. So I'm going to subtract 25 from both sides. So it's going to be 900 and what's that? Like 60? 960 divided by 15. 64. If I get this right, am I going to get that right? Uh, just stop, Bart. All right. I spent eight minutes on that. That's the video. Thank you for watching.